during the Welcome back to Novice Explorer Radio. This week the explorers get out in the glorious countryside and experience... Grimmel Waterfall and the Alpine Coaster. Before they wave goodbye to Austria. Welcome back to our Austrian van life adventure. We are hot off the Gross Glockner Pass. Our brakes were also very hot after that incredible descent. So we're gonna check out the woodland on the side of the Alps and check out the very special waterfall too. We tick off another of Austria's tourist attractions in the Zell am See district. Only an hour away from our camp spot at the end of the Gross Glockner and it's also found in the same national park. So if you haven't seen our video for the Gross Glockner Pass, it should be the one previous to this. Uh, I'm sure it's a banger, we haven't made it yet because um, we haven't got to that stage of the edit, but I'm sure with the footage and pictures we've got, it should be quite a good one, fingers crossed. Yeah, we were knackered last night when we got back to the van, we just passed out, had tea and just... Oh, it was tiring being up at 5am. Yes, yeah, we tried to make a full day of it and I think we did a pretty good job. Although it was quite extreme conditions up on the top in the morning and evening. Blustery, oh, so cold. That's why I've got uh, shiny lips today. I'm wearing Vaseline because <laughs> my lips got dried out in the wind and sun, but such a good experience and uh, definitely well worth the money. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear but we are pretty close to the waterfall and it's bigger than I thought it was going to be I must admit and we thought we we're going to get away for free because there didn't seem to be any ticket booth but all of a sudden boom there it is four euros each on this trip Cal manages not to see very much in advance because I do most of the planning so sometimes he ain't got a clue what he's about to see I like yesterday's clue. video to be fair neither of us knew that there was a huge um, <laughs> glacier <laughs> yeah and if you stand too close, it sprays you. Oh, you get what? Wet. All that water coming down all that way yeah. sprays you. Bloody hell! <laughs> that is very, very refreshing. Woo! Wow, we so that was unexpected. As Meg said, I'm usually quite ill prepared as to what to expect. And she's also just told me now there's multiple tiers to the waterfall, so we might be able to go up maybe two more and get a better vantage point. Yeah, there's three tiers. Do I want to walk up there? Not really. Should we? Yes. I'm tired and sweaty and cold all at the same time. <laughs> we made our way to the top of Austria's largest waterfall. With a total drop of 380 metres, the scenery was spectacular. Ooh. It is 1,460 metres above sea level because I can read the sign. That was a really enjoyable walk today for four euros. I'd highly recommend it. But I think it's worth saying you have to be in a certain amount of fitness because I must say I <laughs> struggled. No, you were you ran up the mountain. But yeah, we've had a really nice day, but it's gone quite cold now, so we're gonna just make our way back to the van. Maybe have a hot chocolate before we move on tonight. He won't feel many of the descent. It's just gonna take us about an hour or so, maybe a bit longer to get back to the van, and you've seen it all before. So next shot, we'll have a nice hot chocolate in our hands. So we're back at the van and all is good. We have run out of the big gas in the minute, so we're on the canisters, so we're using our portable gas burner. We were just trying to make a hot chocolate in the back of the van, but we're parked on such an angle that we've ended up... Al fresco, <laughs> bully the kettle. It'll work fine then. I'm not worried about it. Cheers. Ugh. 
So that was a lovely walk and we think we got our value for money out of our four euros. Mm, we don't usually pay for walks to be honest, but uh, that was nice. We've been here for all day, however many hours that's been. Well, no, it was just after lunch, wasn't it? So a good four, four hours up there, I'd say. Four or five hours, yeah. Mm. You could spend longer as well, probably if you wanted to. Yeah, you could pack a picnic and whatever. But anyway, as you might be able to tell, the sun is starting to go down and we have still got a two hour drive to be ready and in position for tomorrow's activities and we need to find somewhere preferably free to stay. So we will be arriving sort of under the cover of darkness, which helps us, but then it doesn't help when you want to judge an area. Yeah, so cue driving footage. We left Crimmel and headed to Imst. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> be quiet. We're in our spot, but it's opposite a police station. I think we're semi allowed to stay here. In Austria, there's a rule where you can, um, you're where you're allowed to rest for eight hours if you're too tired to drive, which I think we are now. Meg's done an excellent job driving us here, but unfortunately we've had a bit of a catastrophe. What's happened? My bottom has just knocked off the chopping board full of chopped courgette. Where did it go? All on the floor. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Well. I want more compassion from you. That oh no was just... <laughs> I think I might hide that knife in a better spot. I hope you like gritting your noodles. Well, that's how you always make them. <laughs> yes, you better hide this knife. <laughs> this is just one of the many struggles of living in a tiny space. Oh dear. We've cocked up a bit today and we haven't really got anything for breakfast or lunch. We've got no bread, no cereal and not very much at all. So I've just been for a little walk into the town, which is quite a big ski town, but we're out of season and it's a Saturday, so everything is shut. So we're going to do something a little bit naughty instead. Speaking of naughty, there's that police station I was talking about last night. <laughs> this is the this is last night's camping spot. It was actually quite good, we slept well, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, just not the most. There's one other person doing it and possibly that trucker. Needs bus. Mac is in hand, we headed to today's activity, the Alpine Coaster. So we've made it this far at least, we've paid for one go. We're hoping to go tandem if we can. Um, we paid extra for the ski lift up to the top. Yeah, you can walk it, but it's a bit of a way. Yeah. Um, it is quite expensive, we're only allowing ourselves to go on it once. I've not been on a ski lift before. This is very, no, this is very kind of unnerving how quiet and um, serene it is up here. <laughs> I've seen someone fall off. But... Oh, great. So oh, this is exciting. This it? is exciting. We thought that if we went tandem, you'd pay half the price, but nah, obviously, no, nah, you pay per person. Three goes is like 70 odd euros, and we just can't justify that. So, uh, gonna make the most of the one trip down. At over three and a half kilometers, this alpine coaster is the longest in the world. There is a 500 meter altitude difference between the start and the end of the ride, giving you plenty of time to build up speed and enjoy the twists and turns of the track. That was pretty cool. Really exciting thing to do, wasn't it? It was, yeah. We've not long got off and we were absolutely buzzing. We were laughing like two little school girls. Oh yeah, <laughs> I hope the GoPro does it justice, but we went really fast. We said that we wouldn't use the brake. Uh, it's got like a handbrake on the way down, but 
We would have been out of control. <laughs> and at one stage, it felt as if the back end lifted up. Yeah. And uh, we got a bit scared, so we had to slow down a little bit. Nice, tranquil ride up in the ski lift as well, which was nice. So yeah. we got two rides out one, really. It was ace. The weather is also amazing today. It is the end of October, and we are feeling pretty blessed. So this is where we're going to leave our Austrian travels. We have been here for about a week and that is because we are very close to being winter season and we haven't got winter ties or snow chains. We're not exactly sure where we're going to be over the next few days, but hopefully our future voiceover selves will tell you exactly what's going to happen. Thanks for watching. Let's see where we are next week. We leave Austria behind and begin to head south to find the winter sun. However, there's one big hurdle to overcome the snow-covered Pyrenees. So as always, feel free to like, subscribe and leave us a comment. And click that bell button to receive notifications when we upload our next video. Thank you and we'll see you in the next one.